Hello, today we're going to learn about translations and rotations in the coordinate plane. Translations uh, follow a rule. I take a point x, y, and I move it to x plus h and y plus h, given that uh, we're moving it by this vector h, k. Now that might not make much sense. So if I have my coordinates, and I have this point right here, let's say it's negative 3, 1. Now if I move it by a vector, say my vector is uh, 7, 2, that means I'm going to start at this point and move to the right 7 and up 2. So if I move to the right 7, uh, that's x plus my 7, which is 4. And then y, which is a 1, plus k, which is 2, 3. So my new point after this translation is 4, 3. So I'm moving to the right 7 and up 2. So if I'm going to translate this point, uh, I think in your packet it says 3, 5. So we're going to go 6, 2, 4, 6, up 4. And I'm going to translate it uh, to the left 3, 1, 2, 3, and up 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, I think is up there. And uh, so I just took this and I translated it up there. You don't need to draw that, so that's just the vector. All right. So now if I take this and I translate it all by the vector 3, negative 1. So I'm going to take each point, and I'm going to go 3 to the right and 1 down. So it's going to look 3 to the right, 1 down, 3 to the right, 1 down. So the whole thing moves to the right 3 and down 1. Does the orientation stay the same? Yes. Is it still a symmetry? Yes. All right, so what goes from here to here? Well, it looks like we're just going to the right, 7. So this vector would be 7. And we don't go up or down, so that would be 0. Uh, now, rotating. Now, this is a tricky, tricky thing. There's two ways to think about this. We're going to rotate this point 5, negative 2, 180 degrees about the origin. So to do that, 180 degrees is halfway around. So that's 90. That's 180. Now, we have to pretend. Like this isn't here. We don't know where it is. We just came upon this graph and we pretend that's x and y. And what would this point be? Well, I go to the left 5 and up 2. So that point would be negative 5, 2. Now we erase all the stuff that we were thinking and we return to our normal graph. And so if I rotate this 180 degrees, it's going 5 to the left, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and up 2. And that's a, a positive 2. So that's negative 5, positive 2. So another way to look at it is it goes straight through 180 degrees. That's 180 degrees, and it's going around the origin. So if I just keep going through, this distance is going to be the same as that, and it's going to work out. We'll get, get the same point, negative 5, 2. Now, if I want to rotate 90 degrees counterclockwise, counterclockwise is this way. So I'm going to take this, rotate. Oh, i got to make sure it's all together or it's not going to move. I'm going to group it together, group, and I'm going to rotate this. 90 degrees counterclockwise. Now we, pre we pretend that we don't know a point, and that's 2 to the right and 5 up. So that's 2 to the right and 5 up. Now we can come back to this regular thing and say 2 to the right and 5 up. That's 90 degrees clockwise. If I rotate it 270 degrees, there's 90, 180, 270. So now it's 2 to the left and 5 down. So I'm going to go 2 to the left and 5 down. Then we can return it to its original position. All right. 
Now, if we want to rotate this 270 degrees, we do the same thing. Are these sent? No, that's not locked on. So, I uh, now you you of course can't um, flip this like I am. What you have to do is flip your paper. So 270 would be here. Now you just take each of these points and label a prime would be three three, b prime would be two negative three, and c prime would be two four six negative two all right and i think the rest of this you could do on your own good luck